One neat thing you can do with determinants is solve systems of linear equations with them, and the method's called Kramer's Rule. So let's start with a system, 9x plus 3y equals 12, 10x minus 4y equals 50. Two equations, two unknowns. Kramer's Rule says that the solution will, will be x equals this determinant, 12, 3, 50, negative 4, over the determinant 9, 3, 10, negative 4. Now let me explain where these determinants come from. This determinant in the denominator is the determinant of the coefficient matrix, right? 9, 3, 10, negative 4. That's from the coefficients on the left side. In the numerator, you basically have the same determinant, only you've replaced the x coefficients with these numbers, the constants. So that's how you get x. You get y very similarly. Again, in the denominator, you've got the uh, determinant of the coefficient matrix. And in the numerator, you've taken the coefficient matrix, you've re replaced the y terms with 12 and 50. And so it's very similar how you calculate these. Just remember, replace the appropriate column with the constants, in this case, 12 and 50. Let's actually calculate these and see what the solution is. So I want to do x first. Now let's observe that and you can still use the simplification rules for determinants whenever, uh, whenever possible. Like in the denominator, I can pull a 3 out of this top row and I can pull a 2 out of the bottom row. and That gives me 3 times 2 times the determinant 3, 1, right? I pulled a 3 out of the top. I pulled a 2 out of the bottom, so I have 5, negative 2. And then in the, in the top, I can also pull out a 3 from the top row and a 2 from the bottom row. See, that's nice because I can actually cancel these factors of 3 and 2. And then what's left is 4, 1, and 25, negative 2. So as I said, you can just go ahead and cancel the 3 and the 2. And then on, let's, let's do the bottom first actually. We get negative 6, minus 5. That's negative 11 in the bottom. And in the top, we get negative 8 minus 25. That's negative 33. That's 3. So let's do the same thing for y. Again, it's always a little bit easier if you can factor things out first because things factored out sometimes cancel. So I'll pull a 3 out and a 2 out again. And I get 3, 1 on top. 5, negative 2 on bottom. And I can pull a 3 and a 2 out of the top as well. Might as well just pull those out because, I mean, I can pull more out of the bottom, obviously, but there's no point. These are going to cancel and nothing else will. So let me just leave this as 3, 4. And then I have 5, 25. And then again, the 6 cancels. In the bottom, I'm still going to have negative 6 minus 5, negative 11. But in the top, I'll have 75 minus 20, 55. And so that's 55 over negative 11, negative 5. So x equals 3, y equals negative 5. This is Kramer's rule. You're using determinants to solve a system of linear equations.